Hello everyone, it's Kay here from Taunton. I've just come on to share a little something with you. Um, I'm actually involved with uh, Crafty Swappers UK on Facebook. It's a lovely group and it's run by Ems Smith. There is a date there but I can't remember. Sorry Ems. Um, and what we all do is get the opportunity to join swaps on a regular basis and one of the swaps that I chose to do was to alter some little plant pots and I'm so pleased with how they've come out I just wanted to share them with you we had to um, alter the plant pot it had to be the terracotta not plastic they're only the little ones we had to use lace in a in a sort of shabby chic frilly foo-foo kind of way um, metal embellishment a, a little doily and a stick pin so what I did initially was started out by painting my pots with just an ordinary white acrylic paint and then set to with the decoration this is the first one and I'm really really pleased with it it's so sweet it can still be utilized I'm getting motioned forward it can still be utilized as a plant pot I've just painted the inside very, very ordinarily so that a, a little pot could go into the centre there. I've then used some of the bling that just comes on a, on a mesh to anchor the dangly lace trim onto the pot. If you turn it upside down, you'll see the work that's gone on underneath, just the paint as per. A lovely little lace trim around the bottom just to add a bit of interest and a bit more of the um, net bling and then this little hanger to allow it to be hung in a craft room or whatever you could utilize it by uh, closing up the end and keeping glue sticks in it whatever you chose the um, two flowers are handmade which was part of the requisite there's my little metal embellishment and it is just a little clip and it's a kind of butterfly affair if you like with some little crystals in it. The stick pin as you can see just AB crystals, a crystal rondelle on a standard 3 inch pin which has been cut down to allow it to sit nicely here. And on the back side I've done the same flower again but instead of using the stick pin I've just used the mandatory um, little motif or to, to meet the requirement for the swap. So I hope you like that. I was really quite pleased with it. I didn't want to do two identical because I think, you know, part and parcel of this kind of thing is that you do something different for each for each little thing that you're you're doing and this second one again is using all the mandatory items the stick pin the metal embellishment I've stitched a little rose embellishment onto the bottom of the flower here used a very very frilly lace all the way around in three layers and in between that I've used just ordinary flat back pearl trim to finish off and give it a, a nice little bit of elegance there. That again will hang quite neatly, although it's a little bit drunk and disorderly. I think perhaps I've not quite got that central for it to hang properly, but I can't undo it now without you know causing damage. A uh, little metal embellishment here. I've also found a little um, matching bead head that just fits in with the bronze effect there and the cream lace trim. I, as I say, I wanted to share these with you. I think it's such a lovely, lovely idea. You could utilise these all around the house, put whatever you wanted into them, just to pretty up little corners that needed a little bit of decoration. It's such a cheap, cheap thing to alter. I think I paid 50 pence for each pot, which is, you know, ridiculous. And then all the trim. And I think for the money spent, it is just such an effective little gift 
for my swap partner. There will be other things that go with it. Needless to say, that's what we do as swappers. But these I wanted to share with you particularly. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you find it inspirational and that you might like to try this kind of thing for yourself. Thank you very much for sharing this time with me. Happy crafting. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.